team gets it out of his hand. Magic delivering for Devots. Shot clock out of one. And a block by Pippen. It's a 24 second violation. The tapping defense forced a mismatch. Jordan on Devots. Unfortunately, Vlade couldn't find the handle on the ball. Now Pippen played by Worthy. Caught right eluding Devots. Crowd looking for a foul. With the long arms of Sam Perkins, bothered the shot, forced the miss. Crowd wanted to travel, but Armstrong picked it off. It's a two-on-one. Here's two. points for Michael Jordan. Bulls lead at 47, 43. They're just getting now into their half-court offense with 10 seconds left on the 24-second clock. Shot clock to two. So once again, the Lakers roll that shot clock all the way down. Six points for Devots. And the Bulls lead at 47, 45. Jordan with the fake right, went left, and that was bottled up. Good play by Scott. Three Lakers surrounding Jordan once he put it on the floor. Yes, Byron had some help, but was able to deflect it away. Here's a mismatch, Perkins. And he drew the foul. Levingston coming over to help out Armstrong. So Sam Perkins, a college teammate of Michael Jordan, as was James Worthy, to the free throw line. Over the last three years, he has worked vigorously with weights. Six years in Dallas, signed with the Lakers as an unrestricted free agent last August, and it has turned into a splendid move by Laker general manager Jerry West. And as you follow Perkins in his career, he started out under Dick Mott, a little bit of post-up action. When John McCoy, Richie Adubato took over, a little more post-up action. When Adubato was named the head coach, stuck him down in the hole on a full-time basis. He said, score from down low. And then Dunleavy has taken over now, and it gives him five people to post up on offense. The crowd reacting to the play of Cliff Levingston. Horace Grant checking back in. The Lakers and the Bulls tied at 47. Game one of the NBA Championship Series. Game two here Wednesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern time on NBC. Game three in L.A. next Friday night, starting at 9 Eastern time. Hartwright to the middle. Devon's on the rebound. It has been a media onslaught here in... Chicago credentials issued to 550 journalists uh, representing 12 countries, including Italy, Greece, Spain, France, and Japan. Three-point attempt by Perkins. He hit two earlier. And this championship series is being seen in 70 countries. Armstrong wide open. A minute 20 left in the first half. Game tied at 47. Magic had it broken up. Last touch by the Lakers. Now Magic Johnson appealing to the outside official Hugh Hollins. Jack Madden made the call, and the call standing. Here's Pippen. Scotty Pippen going glass. He has nine. Bulls lead 49-47. Coming up at halftime, the final shootout with Bob and Pat going at each other on the Prudential Halftime Report. That is coming up momentarily. Shot clock at five. Worthy from downtown. And the foul is called. Scott grabbed by Armstrong. Mike Dunleavy reminding James Worthy, if there's enough time on that 24-second clock, use the dribble penetration to get in the seam and force another rotation by the Bulls' defense. That time, James, because the shot clock had almost gone off, had to launch the long jumper. Mike Dunleavy, 36 years old, a product of the schoolyards of Brooklyn, excellent playmaking, scoring guard at South Carolina. He took over under pressure conditions from Pat Riley. 
Mike Dunleavy was in a no-win situation, but he still won. Sixth round draft pick of the Philadelphia 76ers. Eventually landed with Houston. Four-year stay there. Also played at San Antonio and Milwaukee. And an assistant coach with the Milwaukee Bucks. After what Pat Riley had accomplished with the Lakers program, there are many coaches that would not want to step into those shoes or sit in that head coach position. Don't leave you looked at it a little bit differently. He said, hey, I think this team has a chance to win a championship. I'd like to be part of all that. Let me take a shot at it. Game tied at 49. Here's Armstrong. Yes. E.J. Armstrong with a second field goal. The indication a two-pointer the Bulls were looking for a three that's the reason for the stoppage 30 seconds left and the half Teagle has checked back in racing with Hodges Eagle and Johnson and Scott on the floor in a three-guard alignment along with Worthy and Perkins and the foul is called that time Magic did not give Jordan a chance to body up on him, did not give him a chance to double. As soon as he caught the basketball, he turned and went. Keep an eye at Scott and Jordan down low. The battle taking place, the bodies, the arms. It's a battle out here. Jordan called for his second. Magic Johnson has been very quiet offensively. He's four for four from the line. He has attempted only one field goal attempt. But as we have seen throughout the season, 22nd timeout called by the Bulls. It has not been important that Magic come up with, with big numbers. In fact, when he scores in prolific fashion, the Lakers usually have either lost or not played well. The assist category has been the significant one when it comes to Magic Johnson and, and W's for the Lakers. Magic Johnson on the glass helps the Lakers. Magic Johnson directing the show out there, understanding that he had to take a little bit more of the scoring burden upon himself when Kareem retired. But he doesn't want to overdo it to the point where the spotlight's on him for scoring. He'd rather share that part of it with his teammates, just make him win in the end. in his 12th season out of Michigan State. Earlier this year, missed a couple of games with a jammed middle finger on his right hand. He was telling us how happy he is to be uh, healthy after the long grind of the regular season and on to the final round of the playoffs. Lakers and Bulls tied at 51. We are down to 10 seconds to go in the half. Pippen trying to hand off to Grant. There's Grant. Now Pippen, and he threw the foul with two and seven ten seconds left in the first half. Foul called on Perkins. That is his first. The initial defense by the Lakers was outstanding. They took away. The drive off the dribble by Pippen. They cut off on the dump down pass for the layup by rotating from the weak size. It was just the extra hustle by the Bulls coming up with the second, third shot opportunities. Scotty Pippen is one for three from the line. The Bulls only five out of nine from the free throw line. Lakers at 17 of 18. Pippen only a 71% free throw shooter. take a one-point lead and a timeout taken by Mike Dunleavy. This will force you to stay up a little bit later than normal. 9 p.m. Uh, starting yes. time. Yes. Take a nap during the day. I'll be fine. I think we need referee Arthur Mercanti to uh, check this one out. Let's see, salary about the same. We're not talking about all the extracurricular activities. MVP awards, Magic with three, Michael with two, but uh, the big number that Michael would like to put a dent into under the uh, category of championships. In fairness, the supporting cast has been a little bit different with the Lakers over the years than it has been here in Chicago. The Lakers have been there, have built it, and maintained it. The Bulls on their way to getting there. This is a strong first half for the Lakers on the home court of the Chicago Bulls. Here's Pippen from center court. 
Lakers shot only 44%, but they're down by only two, while the Bulls, 61% shooting in the first half. Jordan leading the way with 18 points, along with the five rebounds and eight assists. Halftime in Chicago, game one of the best of seven. The Bulls by two. Bob and Pat coming up in just a moment.